2018 was sort of a breakout year for me in, in the Career Cup Australia Championship. I think Career Cup Australia has proven to be one of the toughest championships uh, in the world. Uh, we had a, an awesome season, started off so well and we were consistent the whole way through and were rewarded with the championship. The Junior Shootout program was uh, another cool thing to sort of tick off the list and competing against 11 other drivers from around the world was uh, an experience that I've sort of never had before. To get a phone call a few weeks later and, and be told that I was the, the selected Porsche Junior for 2019 was, uh, yeah, I sort of didn't know what to think at the time. It was something that I sort of had dreamed of for a while and to live in that moment was pretty special. Winning the shootout, you uh, have some funding from Porsche to race in the Mobile One Super Cup, so um, I'm really looking forward to that. I think uh, without that pathway, I wouldn't be where I am today. The Motorsport Pyramid is something uh, sort of recognised not only by Porsche, but other brands uh, worldwide, so it's, uh, it's quite important to Porsche themselves, and Porsche want the best drivers in their cars. I think that's shown through Matty, what he's achieved. He was uh, fast in Career Cup Australia, transitioned to Super Cup and, and fast once again. And uh, yeah, he was rewarded in that motorsport pyramid and is now a young professional and working his way into the RSR, which is pretty cool. Yeah, leaning on Matty for some experience is going to be pretty cool. Uh, I'm lucky enough that he's already been there for two years and I think it's a bit of a relief for him having someone to, to live with maybe after two years by himself, but uh, it's something that I'm really looking forward to. For sure he'll have no problem going over and being right on the pace and uh, hopefully getting some results towards the middle of the year. So it's always tough, you know, for me at first, um, you know, you have a lot to learn. The tracks are so different, the way the teams work is so different, but I'm sure he'll have no, no uh, issues getting up to speed and, uh, you know, he'll be up there by the end. A little bit nervous, obviously, heading into the first round of the season. Yeah, I think even starting at Barcelona is pretty cool, but I think we're fortunate enough to have the pre-season test there. Yeah, the racing is always very tight, uh, and the track conditions are often quite hot, so it's something that maybe I might be a little bit more used to than some of the other drivers, but um, yeah, just can't wait.